And we are back. You're watching Monterey on tonight. This is the Andy Williams show from Branson, Missouri, when he appeared there in his own theater many years ago. I'd like to welcome my second hour guest. This is Katie McCoy. Hi. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. And Katie is one of the people that was in the St. Francis Project that we talked about in the earlier hour with Sandra Kay. Yes. And can you tell us, Katie, how you heard about the St. Francis Project and how it has helped you with your life? Sure. So I was actually incarcerated in 2015 um, due to my drug addiction. And uh, part of the stipulations of my uh, program was that I had to complete a, a drug and alcohol program. And so when I did the drug and alcohol program at West Care of California, this lady comes in and she's like, hey, we're making dog treats. And it was a way for us to just kind of get out of the program for the day. And so we just took that opportunity. I didn't know I was actually going to fall in love with her ah, uh -huh. with her and her whole, um, the idea behind the St. Francis Homeless Project. So it just started off as like a way to kind of get out of uh, the program for the day. And then um, I volunteered, I believe, for three weeks and she hired me and it was my first job that I had had in six or seven years at My that time. My goodness gracious. And so she just kind changed of your life. She captivated us. She you changed know? your life with this program. She did. Did you like the fact that there was something for you to do when you got there to make these little doggy biscuits? It felt really good to be back in an environment where somebody believed in me and I wasn't my past. You know, I wasn't being judged by my past. She actually took us to uh, the Central Valley Women's Conference. It was one of our very first events that we did. And I was pretty fresh off the streets and still kind of had that mentality and really didn't feel like I fit in with all of these women that were, you know, nice jobs, nice clothes, you know, uh, could speak properly, all of this stuff. And I told her, Sandra, why'd you bring me here? I don't belong here. And she said, never say that to me again. You belong, you belong here. And, um, She's encouraged me. She's my mentor. She's my family. Wow. Um, nice. Yeah, I've been with her ever since. I graduated. I was the first graduating class. I graduated in 2016. And not only do we make dog treats and learn kitchen skills, but she taught us life skills and how to pay our bills and had mentors come in and teach us all of these things that, that we kind of lost along the way, um, you know, falling into drugs and alcohol and, and all the things that kind of take, take those normal everyday skills that some people have we just, some people don't have them you know yeah. so um she rebuilt our confidence and that was the biggest that's the biggest so thing she's our biggest cheerleader that's so wonderful yeah now how many people are you still involved in the program i do i am i will always be with her as long as she's doing it i will always be with her um i uh, i went in the beginning to um, after I graduated, I became the program coordinator and then she helped do interview skills and I actually became, um, got an interview with Panera Bread Company okay. and I started there in 2016 as well as a dishwasher and now I'm an operating partner GM wow. for Panera and I wow. get to hire the girls that are coming out of the program so I get to be one of the, the full circle, oh uh, my part goodness. of the full circle That's of so it. Great. it it's are amazing. you at a Panera in Fresno? I am in a Panera in Fresno, yes. You are. Um, Which one are you in? The River Park location. You're at the River Park yeah. Panera. If you want to go see, because we have, you know, we're on the air in Fresno yes. on Channel 27.1, so anyone from Fresno that's w watching tonight, go in and say hi to Katie. Uh, she's at Panera in River Park. You all know where that is in Fresno? <laughs> yeah, it's a very how popular one. Been, how, yeah, very popular. How long have you been at Panera? I've been at Panera for, it will be seven years this month. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. So it's a regular full-time job. Regular full-time job. You're actually a... Involved in uh, running the place. I am the general manager of that store. Isn't I'm also the, well, I'm a training general manager, and I just made partner two years ago. Oh, so, my yeah. goodness. Congratulations to yeah. you. And that is so wonderful. St. What Francis a, is the start of it all. St. Francis, mm -hmm. well, you know, that that saint yes. was the saint of the hopeless. Yes. Yeah. Yes, and most definitely. definitely worked for you. Absolutely. So if there's anyone out there watching tonight, watching our show tonight, that was where you used to be. Mm. How would you recommend that they change their life like you did? What what do they do? Honestly, just 
take the first step. You gotta, you gotta find somebody in your life, whether it's an AA meeting, an NA meeting, um, a program. There's somebody in that room that wants to build that confidence back in you, that's gonna believe in you, and just attach yourself to that person. Don't be afraid to ask for help. There's so many people out there that that are just, there's millions of Sandras. Sandra's the most special one to me. She's mine, you know, but Mm -hmm. there are millions of Sandras. Like we all try to play a part, especially those in recovery. Like recovery is real. We've all been where you've been, um, especially in those rooms. And so just reach out. We like to do hand ups, not hand outs. And so whatever we we can do as as a recovery community to try to help build you back up and get you where you need to be. But just have faith. Now, when you were in that first class, are you staying in touch with the ladies that were also in oh, that class? Absolutely. Absolutely. Best friends. Um, like I said, I get to hire some of the girls. So I've, I've had do. them hired. I have some in management positions in other stores now. Um, my best friends came from that, that program. Isn't that wonderful? Yes. What is Panera like to work for? What, what kind of organization is Panera? Best company I've ever worked for. I actually got the opportunity to bring in some of the upper management, and we got to do a volunteer day um, with St. Francis. So I get to share the love of my recovery and my passion with my company, and, oh, and they embrace it. Like I said, I had a background. I, I went to jail. I was honest in my interview about my recovery, my drug addiction, my incarceration, and they saw something in me. And, you know, I I worked my way up, but I started as a dishwasher. And within four years, I was a general manager, even with a background. So Panera Bread is an amazing company to work for. What a beautiful story you have. Thank you. And it's my honor to have you here tonight to tell that story. Because if you, because of your story, one person out there watching us tonight if you can change just one life just from what you've said in the last 10 minutes, I've done my job you have. to have you here. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate the it's opportunity. So, it's so wonderful to have you here tonight, Thank you. Katie. And the best of luck to you. And when I'm in Fresno, I'm coming to the Panera at River Park to see you. I would love to you have you. You know why? I love the pastries. Oh, yeah. Me too. <laughs> There's a, I guess you'd call it a coffee cake. That is just one of my favorites. And every time I see that thing, I say, that's the one I want to take the home. The whole thing. It's not home, good right? for me, but that's the one I want to take <laughs> It's so home. good, yes. It's, they're so good. And they sell out quickly. They do. So if I don't get there early, it's gone. I go, where's my coffee cake? <laughs> anyway, so nice to have you Thank here. Thank you tonight. very much for Bless having me. Bless you so much. Thank you. In your future. And uh, I'm so happy that I got to meet you through... Uh, Tom and, and Sandra K. Yes, very special people. They are special people, good friends of mine. All right, we're going to get back to more of this gentleman. Did you know who Andy Williams was? You know, I didn't until I heard him sing ah, Love, and I was like, oh, okay. But not, I'm, I'm like that. I'll know the music more than the artist. But okay, yes, he's well, great. He's, he's got a beautiful voice. Sad that he's no longer with us, but his music will live forever. Yes. Especially Moon River. That's one of my favorites. I think love. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That one. All right. Back to more Andy Williams right here on Monterey on Tonight.